at about 8 o'clock in the morning from the 28th floor of the Hilton where we're staying for a couple of days. And this on the top, if the top of that turns white, means snow. If it stays green or blue or whatever other color it is, you know, it's not snow. I think that's the only two things it says. And this is the new city hall. And we'll look down on the street. And at night, that's a fountain that lights up colors, three different colors. Maybe I'll get that after dark tonight. I seen it last night when we got in. And I don't know the name of that street. And they still have the streetcars. The uh, tour guide said that while everybody else was building highways, they were building metros and streetcars. And uh, they had streetcars apparently forever. On an elevator, on, they call it the scenic elevator. And here's the, I forgot what tower. And here's the sky dome, which we'll probably go in. Oh, that's the CNN tower. Yeah, this is the CNN tower. It's 800 and something feet tall. I'll get the uh, specs on it later. Well, look at the boats. You can see that's what I'm trying to get is the harbor out there. I guess it's a harbor. Yeah. And, uh, well, it's, I got all I got was sky there for a minute. Okay. We will go lobby and you're listening. This is Toronto from the scenic elevator on the outside of the building. To a bus. Mm -hmm. There's a top to a bus there. This is a pedestrian tunnel that just goes from the building we're in to across the street. It goes underneath the street. All these buildings and all of these Canadian main cities have these malls downstairs. Because of the weather, mostly. I don't know, they said something like a 144 inches of snow in the wintertime. And I guess you could live down here if you had to. You can just walk. Because uh, I think I, I've got the story here of all of these boutiques that's down in the basement. And uh, evidently, I don't know where that goes. I and mean, evidently, the, uh, this is the escalator going up in this building across the street. That's the old city hall in the background. It's no longer the city hall. <clears throat> and this is the art museum. <laughs> a lot of controversy over it. Some likes it, some don't. This is where they have arts of all kinds. Out the side. Rock bands, anything that comes in. I can't believe. We're going to go inside. <laughs> There's over a hundred thousand nails in this. You're looking at the heads of them. <laughs> I'll try to get it in between there. 
my zipper. See if I can get it. This is all made of about 100,000 nails. And I'll get some more of it as we walk by. Stay over here. So. This is the hub of the city. I have to move the camera because uh, I'm too close. I got this all the way out, wide angle, as I can get it. Let's see if I can catch some of this. This is a mock up of the city of Toronto. Back at the square again, they call it Nathan Phillips Square where you can soapbox, politic, well, they have entertainment here, has to have maybe even rock groups, what have you. That's, that's Francis. Could, could be a range. <laughs> you see the edges there? On the other yeah, side. they call this internal flame, you can hear it. The building's deliberately made this way because of the heat. This is the Parliament building in Toronto. Only confederations of uh, Canada, these are the men who put together the laws, like um, United States, Benjamin Franklin, that these are the government parties that made the government in Canada. Yeah, I guess the second floor. This must be the Senate. This is legislative library, and these are This is known as the Casaloma, and it was built by somebody, and it cost millions of dollars, and uh, he lost it to the government because of the taxes, and ended up living with his chauffeur. <laughs> This is the front yard. This now belongs to 
call it a Providence or something. Okay, let's see if we can get this castle. I call it a castle Oma. I think it's We can't take the tour because we only got about 20 minutes and it's an hour tour. We'll try to get back later. And this is the castle and this is Mary. Coming this way. Oh, 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 she missed me. And somebody has a plastic duck or some kind of duck in your window. And it just caught my eye because I thought it was so unusual to have a duck in your window. I did gotta come down here. And if you want to take a, a ride on the uh, on the river, you can you have to come down here. The ferry is right straight ahead of us. On the uh, door side there would be a ferry that would take you around the lake. And the Captain John it offers you seafood. Stuff to miss it. But... What? How many blocks are we familiar with? Right there. The hotel is right here. Let's hold up. Okay. I'm just like, I cannot <laughs> CNN Tower. If the line isn't too long, we might do this. To get this sky dome, it's a darn big. I can't get far enough away from it to do any good. The top opens and closes. It takes 20 minutes, I think. There goes Mary. This tower here is like 800 feet high. But I don't know if we'll get in it or not. Because there's a line. A line very long way. The waiting line just to buy the tickets. And where we are staying, to the big right is that concave building, that city hall. And as you come down here, you will see all the multiple uh, stores and businesses. And right down below here is the symphony. It looks like a spiral dome with all the glasses on top. Uh, and it is an expansive area. To get up to CNN Tower, it takes you about 45 minutes waiting in line. They bring you up a cancel, which takes 58 seconds. And then you are brought into this observation area that has little steps that you climb on to get to the window, and it is carpeted throughout. Okay. We're going to look at the horizon out here while the sun's out. Now we're going to move over to the next window. Okay. You're seeing more of downtown Toronto. It is quite one of the largest cities in Canada, highly populated. And they have kept the old with the new. Um, and they are very uh, historical minded in this town. And even though they are very new and upcoming, you will see in amongst the new buildings 
that they have kept the old. Okay, I'm now focusing on the commuter trains. They have a metro. They have street cars. They have electric buses on the street with two trolleys. They have regular gasoline buses. They have about every kind of commuter system you want. And if you, you know, I'm looking right down at the tracks where they, this metro system, I understand, goes all the way out to uh, 40, 50 miles out. It goes out to the airport and what have you. And, uh, of course, then they have the regular highways. While Toronto, while the rest of the country, was uh, concentrating on super highways and etc. Toronto kept the old, kept the old regular streetcars and kept everything else and they just enlarged on it and they didn't build all of those fantastic super highways. So they really got the they really got the transportation system. One of the reasons is a liter of fuel cost about 60 cents. And uh, they use a lot of Russian cars here because for gas mileage. We started over here in the harbor area, but that's area number three. They have them marked off. But you can see this is the harbor area and the airport. And this is the waterfront. There's a little, that's a ferry that goes to the island. Okay. This is a ferry also. Observation. Of course, it's well protected. So most the waiting line to get back down to the elevator <laughs> after coming down two flights of steps. CN Tower? Uh -huh. Yeah, we wonder why it just takes one minute up, one minute down, why there's always a line. Why do, because there are a lot of people that go through. We do have four elevators. One is uh, for the restaurant, which is very, they have 500 book for lunch today. Uh, we have two for observation, myself and one on the other side, and we have one for service. So we can take 18 at a time, but you know, it, it does, a lines to accumulate with, with the amount of people we put through every day. Okay, did you have a long wait? Yeah, about 10 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes is very, very good. It usually, it, to get up the line can get up to two hours long, and it's in the worst conditions. People have had over an hour wait to get down. The so, it does seem like. Ten, ten minutes is very good. Okay, but uh, one hour is more long, or what? Pardon me? To waiting uh, one hour? This is gargoyles on the side of the building.
And that's the, the dome. And of course, this is the tower. We were up there, it took us about 45 minutes to get back out of there because of the crowd. And they only put 16 people on an elevator. And you gotta go down a couple sets of winding stairs to get to the elevator. And when you get down to bottom, you gotta come up a couple sets of, of uh, stairs to get back up to the level. This is right in the middle of the street. He just came on, and I don't know if I'm going to get him or not. It's pretty dark. But this is in and off this day. Tomorrow we go to Niagara Falls. It might take a little while for them to get warmed up enough to change. Oh, they're changing colors now. Mm hmm. Well, probably because Opie's not a plan. 